So guys, today we're just doing a super chatty get ready with me where I'm testing out some of those goodies I got from Sephora. I also asked you guys on Instagram um, if you had any questions for me and uh, you guys had some questions for me. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to just listen to like a little catch up, a little get to know me, then stay tuned. So hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel. I'm looking very fresh faced here. Um, but yeah, hi, you probably probably know me, I'm Becky and I do a lot of plus size fashion, homeware, bit of beauty content as well. Um, wasn't able to pre-film any content before I came out here um, to Monaco because I've got some tonsillitis. So we're doing some like filming while I'm here. <laughs> Um, so we're just going with what I can do, and that is do my makeup. Um, a lot of you guys have said you think my hair has changed colour. It has not. Um, it's basically, I've got a huge window. Well, it's like a patio door right in front of me. So I'm getting like direct sunlight, and I think it's just, obviously it's like Riviera, south of France sunshine, which is uh, five billion times better than um, any sunshine we get in the UK. So I think it's just making like my freckles are both way more prominent. My hair looks darker, I believe, um, but it is just the light. I I, can, I couldn't be bothered to dye this amount of hair. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna crack on with doing my makeup. And basically it was kind of three areas you guys were interested in. Um, JB. <laughs> I'm very interested in my boyfriend. Um, my job, because I've never told you guys what I do. <laughs> and just my like YouTube channel in general. So I'll try and cover as much as possible while doing makeup, but like doing two things at once sometimes isn't the best thing. I'm going to quickly moisturize. I'm going to quickly do my brows. Um, just so you know, um, what do I use for my brows? I use the Essence uh, Make Me Brow. Um, the name is completely, the shade name has completely come off. And the e.l.f. Uh, in Neutral Brown. Like this is like three quid. Um, I do keep my brow products very affordable because I just go through them. Just go through them like water. So I'd rather just buy the cheap stuff and save my money for like really nice lipsticks and eyeshadow palettes. So go quickly do that. Um, I'm currently using this number seven day cream as well. Just got a bit of SPF. I probably will put a bit of this in as well. This is really nice. And um, Super Goop does really nice facial SPFs, especially with the summer coming up. Um, really recommend. So I'm just going to pop all three of them on and then I will uh, meet you back here. So guys, I am back and the brows are done. We're looking very, very shiny. <laughs> so you guys really wanted me to kind of do a little look with this. You can see my nighty. Ah, the mirror is huge. Um, with this uh, Full Bloom Tartlet Palette. I did use this yesterday and I will say I absolutely loved it. Um, so I'm going to go in with... Uh, this shade here. I'm going to do kind of a pinky look today. Um, so I'm going with the shade Delicate. So, first things first. Um, I don't know which questions to go in with like first. I think I'm going to go in with uh, what my line of work is. So the reason why I've not um, kind of talked about my job online is one, like it is a privacy thing. Um, you know, it's really important to keep like work and I, I guess like hobbies, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, separately. Um, you know, I just like to keep the privacy. So I won't obviously be mentioning the exact place that I work at and I'd appreciate if you don't Google it either because, you know, um, yeah, it's nice to just have a little bit of, um, bit of privacy, but. Um, I've just popped that uh, 
colour through my crease and I think it's so pretty such nice definition um and I just use that on my favourite brush uh it's a Wayne Goss 16 um so yeah so that's the first reason why I haven't mentioned it second reason is I don't want people to think <laughs> that I'm like manipulating them now you'll understand when I tell you the industry I work in well, like I tell you now, I work in advertising. Um, <laughs> it feels so weird to say that out loud because I've kept the secret for so long. Um, basically, I just didn't want people to think that I was using some sort of like techniques on them. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and because it's not, it's not like that. I'm not trained in like brainwashing um, or anything. I'm now just using the shade renew oh my god look at this beauty youtuber of the year award i'm just gonna like darken up my crease a little bit with it um yeah so i work in advertising um i don't mention any of the brands that i work on on my channel um it's not that my work has asked me to do that um they do know that i do youtube and they do fully support it i've just chosen not to because i just think it's just better for everyone, really. Uh, better for my employer, better for the brand. I'm not having to worry about anything I say. And also, I'm not, you know, I'm not being biased towards you guys. Um, so I just don't mention any of the brands that um, I work on. Not that they really are anything to do with what I do videos on. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love my job. Um, I went to university um, and did a degree in advertising. Um, and I, it took two years to get a full-time job, um, like a permanent job. I had to do a lot of like placements and internships. That's just part and parcel with the industry. Um, so yeah, I worked really bloody hard to get my job and I worked really bloody hard at it um day to day um i will say that i have kind of transferred skills from advertising into youtube like um project management skills and producer skills like how to kind of make the most of my time with filming and editing and having a bit more of a plan um and i guess i have learned like a couple of like design skills and um S SEO, which is like search, kind of what keywords to use. Not that I've like hacked the algorithm or anything by any means. So there's the little matte. I just think I should, I think I might do one more shade deeper. Really get like a nice smoky look. Um, I'm gonna use the shade. Oh, you can see, you can see all my makeup ready at uh, Romance. So yeah, that's that's what I do um, full time. It can be, I will not lie guys, a really full on job. Um, there's a lot of, um, you know, expectations um, from like the agency and also from the clients and you're always trying to come up with really cool ideas. Oh, so also my role in advertising is coming up with the concepts um so it's 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 a very cool job if you've seen mad men i'm basically doing like what peggy does like in around season two season three um so yeah that's what i do um it's very very strange to tell you tell you guys but so many of you have asked for a really long time let me know if you want me to do the part-time youtuber tag um, because I feel like I can kind of go in depth a bit more about kind of how I balance YouTube and work together. Next, I'm going to go in with Cherry Blossom. You can see my tripod. <laughs> oh, God. Um, this was the shade, basically, that made me buy the whole palette. And um, they've got these really, like, sparkly... Can you see that? Really, like, sparkly textures. Super, super pretty. Now I need a wipe. So yeah, I just chunk up the shadow a bit in the pan and uh, get that on my brush. The sunlight is quite crazy here. And then I always, always spray. I will say I do get a bit of fallout with this shade. I did wear this palette yesterday. Um, so I have a little opinion on it. 
but yeah, let me know if you want me to do the, uh, wow, look at that, the uh, part-time YouTuber video, because I am a part-time YouTuber. This is not uh, my full-time job. I would love it to be, in a way. <clears throat> so that kind of goes on to the next question I had, which was... Uh, like what are my kind of goals with YouTube and that's a really interesting question because I think for a lot of YouTubers none of us go out thinking that we're going to be successful at YouTube I think you know a lot of us know the reality oh holy cow that looks amazing um the reality is that YouTube is a very saturated platform um there's a lot of content creators and uh, you just have to go in with a mindset of maybe not being successful if you count kind of um, subscribers and views as success. I think that's also one thing you've got to kind of think is how do you how do you see success if just uploading a video a week is is what is success in your eyes? Then there you go, like you have succeeded. Um, and that's kind of how I was kind of going about it. I wanted to get, I started my channel in May 2020 and I wanted to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, um, which I thought was like, a, you know, and it, it is, um, I, I thought that goal was going to be hard to reach um, by the end of the year. So it was quite a... It was a big target, especially when you've just started a channel. With I had no prior following, no one on Instagram or TikTok knew about me. Um, so yeah, I um, started doing makeup videos first. If you're going, if you're going to do videos, doing makeup, that's going to be the hardest category to break through in because so many people do them. Um, but then I uploaded a um, like a fashion try and haul, like what I'm kind of known for now, and it hit off. And I love I love fashion too. I do I do like my makeup the most. You you'll see my makeup collection coming soon. But I've always liked clothes as well. So um, yeah, you just have to find your niche and run with it. Um, but yeah, I never ever expected to have a, a subscriber base having so many people almost fifteen thousand of you guys subscribe to me it blows that's like the size of a small town in the uk it absolutely blows my mind um i need to start putting makeup on um but in terms of plans for the future well one there really never was a plan um, i'm just using the nars pot concealer for my spots um there never really was a plan um so it's all a very nice surprise how it's, this has all happened um but going forward if i'm honest i don't see myself becoming a full-time youtuber um one i like job security um i like not you know with youtube the your monetization the money you get from adsense fluctuates like crazy um like around black friday it goes absolutely insane oh i'm using the new kvd um good apple concealer for the first time so a couple of little i don't know how much to use no my luck i've probably used too much a little bit down the nose and a little bit on the chin the lighting here is a bit whack, guys, so I'm going to look a bit crazy. <laughs> um, I've got my dirty sponge, and we're just going to go in. So, yeah, um, I don't see myself becoming a full-time uh, YouTuber, although that would be, like, absolutely amazing. Like, I would love to be able to... Oh, this looks really good. This looks so nice. It blends really, really nicely. Look at that. Love it. Um, I would love to do this full time. Um, I think I could make so much more content and better quality content. Um, and also the flexibility that that would give to my life would be 
amazing but at the same time um one i'm nowhere near at a stage where i could afford to um go full time I, I, I feel like you would need to have probably around a hundred thousand with regular regular viewers because someone can have a hundred thousand subscribers but if their subscribers don't interact with the content it doesn't really mean anything um so i feel like i'd need around that many subscribers really to go full time with it and realistically looking at my like analytics and stuff I don't know if I'll ever get there. And it's not that I want, you know, it's not, I've never um, imagined of getting to that those kind of numbers, even though it'd be amazing. I'm kind of happy with uh, our little community that we have now. Well, that looks stunning. I have got a, uh, that dewy SPF on. I'm going to set now with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Flawless Finish in Fair. I really like this powder. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't really know what my goal is. My goal really is to just keep to my schedule. Um, which I feel I literally felt so guilty in bed last week about not uploading because uh, I haven't had a, a week off in a very long time, and um, it's really difficult because like. You know, you, you you do have to keep yourself going. You have to keep yourself like, you know, I'm going to upload, I'm gonna keep going, keep going, keep going with making content. Um, and yeah, so I think I just really want to you know, stick to my two uploads a week. I think that's a, a manageable amount of content for me to make. I'm not like um, killing myself doing it, if you know what I mean. Um so yeah, I feel like that's my kind of goal because with YouTube, you just don't know what's going to happen. Like one of your videos can just take off and then all of a sudden you're like a YouTube sensation. <laughs> um, and that would obviously be very nice. But at the same time, I like, I like, I like where we are at now. It's nice to be able to recognise people's names in your comment section and have a bit more of an intimate community is really really nice i'm just using the fenty bronzer in in the sun um so yeah that i hope that answers the question i feel like it's very long-winded um sorry if this is like super sporadic i haven't i haven't filmed a makeup video in a while i'm not feel like this is very Vogue. I feel like I'm one of those celebrities that do one of those, like, Vogue videos. <laughs> See, I feel like I look so different from at the beginning of the video. What do you guys think? I'm not even finished. Um, so, now on to the boyfriend. This is the question... This is the subject I get the most questions about. Um, I'm going to use this new Sephora blush in the shade Passionate. So me and JP, a bit of background information, just so you have some like context, I suppose. We met in London because uh, that's where we both used to work. This was all very obviously pre-pandemic. And we were with each other for about two, just under two years in London together. Um, when, because of Brexit... Um, he had to move work uh, to Luxembourg. Uh, this was just before the pandemic. So we'd planned, obviously I was living in London back then. It was that long ago. Um, the, you know, I'd pla we'd planned to like basically go back and forth and see each other all the time because you could fly from London City Airport really like affordably. And it was very near uh, to me. I live, used to live in Bermondsey. So it was pretty convenient. But then the pandemic, I literally saw him one time in Luxembourg. And that's when COVID was in Italy really bad. And I was saying like, oh, for God's sake, like this is, oh, I wish, wish everyone would stop talking about COVID. <laughs> Little did I bloody know. Um, that would be the last time I saw him for months. Um, and yeah, it. It's just kind of worked out that 
he lost his um, kind of right to work in the UK because he hadn't been able to get back because of COVID. All a big mess because he's French. He's he's full, fully French, like French passport. Um, and I'm fully British, British passport. And that's the situation we're currently going through. Um, so, yeah, it... It kind of sucks because obviously we'd both like to be in the same country and be with each other all the time. But there's not really an option for us right now <laughs> because of my work as well. I can't just move out here and find a job like there isn't any jobs for me in my industry here. Um, and then currently in the UK, not many places are accepting people with uh, visa applications because he would now need a visa like an American coming to work in the UK, etc, etc. So, yeah, um, he, he did look for a really, really long time, but it was impossible, uh, especially because a lot of bank, a lot of a lot of places of employment were cutting back completely because of COVID. Um, I'm now going to go in with the um, new Charlotte Tilbury uh, pillow talk um, highlight. I love this. Um, so also, uh, JP had appeared on my channel a couple of years ago when I was at like a thousand subscribers. And he didn't mind being on then. But he, since then, since obviously I've gained quite a few more subscribers, um, he has decided he doesn't want to kind of be on my channel anymore. Um, obviously, it doesn't stop him being my boyfriend. And I obviously completely respect that because I didn't expect this channel to like take off and for people to <laughs> watch me from around the world. So um, there are some videos that you can go look and see him and hear him in, but there won't be any more. Um, which, you know, I would love it if he wanted to do more videos with me. Um, but obviously I fully, fully, fully respect. Oh, and I'm just going to use this highlighter in my inner corner because this is the one thing this palette hasn't got is a light shimmer inner corner highlight. There's a couple of really light matte shades, but no shimmer. Oh, that's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, just so you guys know, because I know some of you do kind of ask to see him. Um, so as for like my house, it is my house fully. Um, he's not on the deed because basically we're just of the mindset like we need to obviously keep moving on with our own lives, even though our relationship's kind of stuck in this uh, like Brexit minefield, if that's the right term to use. Um, so he is looking for his own place out here in in kind of on the outskirts of Monaco. He's not buying in Monaco. He's not Mr. Moneybags. Um, but yeah, we're obviously, you know, we want to kind of invest in our own futures because, you know, we don't we don't know what's going to happen with the relationship. Just using the Kiko Milano Prime and Fix Spray. But obviously, um, if he ever returns to the UK, obviously he'd be more than welcome to live with me. I'm not going to be like charging him rent or anything. Um, but yeah, we have to like kind of move on with our lives while we're going through this stage. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the situation. Uh, we're not engaged. Uh, I know some of you guys have asked that. Uh, not definitely not planning to have any kids. Uh, I know some of you guys really want that to happen, but it's not. It's definitely not in the cards. Um, I'm trying to think other questions you guys had for me. I'm using this Boundless Berry pencil. It's way pinker than I expected. So I'm just going to get my honking great palette. Oh my God, it's so pink, guys. I will say, this is really nice to apply. I do love a pencil lip liner. But it's a very pretty colour. I don't often wear super pinky pinks like this, but 
is different. And then I'm going to use the new um, Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in uh, Cherry Blossom. So this is almost going to be like a gloss, I think. Mm. Oh, guys, these are like some of my favourite things on earth. Look at that. Gorgeous. Plumping wise, I feel like just, whoa, here it comes. <laughs> I was like, I can't feel anything. <laughs> um, okay, there is plumping. Um, it's not like lip injection plumping that if you've had that Too Faced, all I want to do with that is be like this. It feels really good feels really nice, very minty. Like, I feel like I've just brushed my teeth, super nice. One question I had about makeup. Um, this is the mascara I use that I love. I really need to get a new one. I did have a code of Ciate. I have no idea if it still works. I'll put it on the screen, but it might not work. I don't know, um, but I'm gonna get another one. This is the Ciate Wonder Wand Mascara absolutely love it it's almost dried out though i did open this paradise ecstatic because i used to think i think i used to really like this but i don't like it anymore rubbish um so yeah i'm gonna get them these. this is heavy as well it's like metal um oh, my lips look so good <laughs> um so yeah i'm just gonna pop some of this on can't stop looking at my lips. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, they also asked, I don't use falsies ever because I'm not very good at putting them on, but I really, really like this mascara. I think it looks really good. And it doesn't like um, flake, it doesn't run. And um, that's the issue I found with this one. It ran by the end of the day. I look like I've been crying. Um, so I think well, that is my makeup done. Um, I'm gonna quickly put on a little bit of setting spray, this Charlotte Tilbs um, Airbrush Flawless. I'm gonna, whew, I'm gonna quickly uh, put on other than this nighty, it says, um, I must get up. My coffee is waiting for me. Um, this is from yours. Oh, Link, I love yours, nighties. Yours, feel free to send me some nighties. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly do my hair, quickly put on a top, and I'll just conclude the video. So guys, here I am. I feel like I look very different from the beginning of this video. Very much a glow up catfish situation. Um, so I hope you found this video interesting. I feel like I've told you a lot of juicy gossip that you guys have all been asking me. Um, in terms of the makeup I tried, if any of you care, <laughs> absolutely love this. I like a neutral palette, so it's just really nice. There's so many options. I love these like super, it's just beautiful. It just catches the light, like textured and beautiful and pretty. This concealer, I don't think my under eyes have ever looked so good. Love that. Um, this Charlotte Tilbury highlight is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And I love this lip combo. It's very different for me. I do like a nude lip. Um, but not too like, it's not painfully plump. It's just like minty fresh. Um, yeah, really, really happy. And the Sephora blush uh, was nice, not like, it's a pretty color, nothing to be like, wow, wow, we wow about, but if you wanted to buy something from Sephora, <laughs> it's a nice blush. Um, yeah, so that's everything. Let me know if you'd like me to do another one of these videos in the future where I answer more of your burning questions. Um, and also let me know any content you'd like me to do out here um, while in Monaco, 
would you like me to do like follow me around Monaco for the day or something like that let me know down below um, and if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe and give this video um, a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next one bye